Hey. We are live. It says you're live. Hey everyone. This is my handsome son Aiden and this is my beautiful <laughs> daughter Margo. And uh, we're gonna do a, a quick unboxing for you guys. So I, I got in a, a new box of thing. And obviously it says mystery unboxing for the title of this video. Uh, but we are going to obviously I will change the title of that I video. I don't know what it is. Yeah, nobody knows what it is. Margaret got a little tease, but I think she's gonna keep it secret till we actually get. Um, he doesn't um, know. Things going on. Uh, so guys, let me pop up your guys' chat real quick up in the uh, on the, the actual computer here. Let me turn down the. That we officially have one person. A oh, one more one person. See who is it? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, that is Delta Whiskey Tango. Hey, Delta Whiskey Tango, how's it going? <laughs> so everyone, wel welcome to our home. And we're gonna do a, a quick unboxing here. We're gonna let you guys kind of um, populate into the room here and we'll get uh, started on it here. Uh, if you guys want a little, um, if you want a tease of what this is, Mark, can, can, you, can you hold up the uh, the box there? Uh, well, we, they need to see this side of the box right here, so. Can you hold it up sideways like this? It's not that heavy, come on. Is it sideways? Oh. Yeah, whoa, don't hit the camera. Wait, it's upside down. Oh, oh wait, no, no, oh, no. Oh, there it is, no. there it is. Okay, now show them the side. Without your head being there. <laughs> oh, this side. Oh, uh, not the Made in China side. That one right there is from Motion RC. It's called the, um, I don't know why it says Mall Free Wing on it. It probably has something to do with their their uh, company, but um, let me just uh, tell you guys what the um, the origins of this uh, model is. Um, obviously, we're big fans of flight test guys. In <laughs> in remember you said you were gonna behave. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> so, um, Marco, do you like flight test? Yeah. And Aiden, do you like flight test? Flight test. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, we're big fans of flight tests, and the, on the the other day they had these um, airplanes on their channel, and I was very intrigued. And I um, haven't had an airplane like this in a long time, not since the multiplex twister days. And that'll give you a little bit of a uh, of an idea of what this mystery object is. So um, I tell you what, we shall um, we'll go ahead and get going here. We'll, uh, all right. So uh, wait, wait, uh, just a second. Let's put this up here. Where'd all this? Where'd all my chocolates go? Down the belly. <laughs> Down <laughs> the belly. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's get this open up. Uh, and, uh, how about I take I take the sharp <laughs> the sharp knife and then uh let's um let's let daddy handle the knife. Actually I want the, the real box. Please cutter. enjoy this cox ringtone service while you wait. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's uh, let's take a look here. You guys want to open this up here? Whoa. Oh, it's the Thunder Chief. Oh wait, we have something here. What does this say, guys? Isa. It says thank you. Wait. Oh, they, they have a little handwritten note there. Yeah, but it's also a receipt. Okay, like so a let, let's. Receipt. It's a sticker receipt. It's an amazing Daddy, thing. It's a sticker receipt. Okay, hang on. Guys, we're gonna. <laughs> Can you help get that out, Eden? Alright. Oh yeah. Thunder Chief. <laughs> Park jet. Okay, so. Okay, so. Got some foam. So what this is, guys, I'll bring this up over here on, uh, on the... Someone this is called Thank the, you. This is called the Free the Wing. Mean, no. uh, the F-105. Free yeah. I mean, it's called the Free Wing Chief. F... <laughs> okay, wait, so I'm, I'm going to say the name of the thing, okay, <laughs> really quickly. This is called the Free Wing. F-105 Thunder Chief 64mm EDF Jet, PD, P and P. so that means plug and play. Uh, Aiden, what does EDF stand for? Electric Ducted Fan. Electric Ducted Fan, that's correct. Ducted Ducted. Margo, what does Free Wing stand for? Dad, we no, have officially three viewers. Three viewers. Yeah. That's a, that's a new level. Well, you know, pe people, uh, you know, on the East three Coast, viewers. they might be sleeping. And people on the other side of the world That's might be just getting low. up right now, so. They should have seen Come on, this. people, share this. Share this video. Aiden, we we do videos as if there's a hundred thousand people 
watching, not, you know, if there's three people watching... Okay, let's flip this up. Okay, let's just uh, take a look at the outside of the box. Let's, let's hold this up for them, Margo, so they can actually see uh, what we actually had being there, so we can get behind the box. Margo, okay. Okay, this is the FO, it's called a Thunder Chief. Uh, it's a really cool looking camera. You're okay. blocking it. And you're blocking the camera though. Let's, let's, uh, let's go to the back of the box, you guys. Okay, so this is what the top profile of it looks like right here. It's got these really cool inlets in the side, oh, which wow. are really uh, very iconic uh, to this uh, jet. So this is going to be like a smaller jet. It's going to be less expensive than a large wing there. So let's I don't go ahead. And, open it. So let's open this up. Ooh. All right, guys. So Margo, you you get behind the box. They want to see what's inside the box. Okay. All right, everyone. So there's, it looks now. We, we, if kids, all right. So if you took a look at the inside of this packaging here, and and I don't want you to hit the camera since we're on a single monopod. Uh, so what do you guys think of this packaging? Tight. Tight. Margaret, what do you think of the packaging? Is it going to protect the jet in the inside really well? Mm -hmm. I think so too. I think I think they did a really good job packaging. It's even this. taped in. It's taped in and everything. So let me get the knife here. I was going to cut I the little tape color. pieces here. All right. Okay, we don't want to get the little foam uh, balls everywhere, guys. So we're not going to be destroying this. Oh. This wow. foam here is the kind that really gets everywhere. Yep. And no sleeping. All right. That work. Magical all right, let's do that. Okay, Margo, let's just set this on my lap here, and we'll just take off all these little blocks here. Okay. And you, yeah. know, you know, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to put my my phone on Do Not Disturb, so that I don't get a phone call in the middle of our live stream. Hey, we have five people here. If you guys oh, are yeah. if you guys are out there and you say hi, if you have any questions about this model, so uh, I will remind you guys of the title of this. This is called the Free Wing F-105 by Thunder uh, Chief. Aiden, I want, you, um, I want you to concentrate on this and not that other stuff, okay? All right? Yeah, take that out. You guys check that out. There's a lot of what's called scale detail of this model, guys. So, Aiden, you want to take the wings out? Well, you want to take the wings out? Okay, this looks super cool. Yeah, show them. It, show them. Right? So, um, if you guys are just joining us, so we, we I picked this model up... Um, from the link through flight test. They reviewed so these realistic. models the other day and it's actually a 64 millimeter EDF and it's pretty sweet uh, um, looking airplane because they're small, you can fly them in a small park. Hey dad, and, yes. does it come um, with the servos? It comes with the servos and it comes with the EDF that's in the inside. What about a battery? Now, no, no battery. So this is, pl this is plug and play, which means you just put in your receiver and your battery and it should be ready to go. Okay. All right. So, Aiden, why don't you bring that out in front of the camera so everyone can see. Show them the inlet where the air goes into. And Aiden, please Look at don't, that inlet. Aiden, please don't step on that. Look at that inlet. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Clippy, clippy, clippy. No, Aiden, not yet. My good friend Ben Harbour would be very jealous right now because he's all about the homemade EDFs. I know he loves these type of airplanes. Wait, Dad, which yeah. way does it go? This way or...? Yeah, it goes that way. No, it totally goes that way because it has a control surface on the bottom. Okay. And, hey, you got it. Has, the kids are doing a great job. Thank you, by the way. Oh, super mom. Thank you so much. Yes, we are. All yes, right. we are. Actually, let me bring up my... Um, uh, there's nothing else in the box here. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me just get these wings out of here. Uh, this, these are the tail pieces. So we believe it is going to go like. Well, I really like the uh, the, the the paint job on this thing. Oh! What do you guys think about the paint job? I just job? saved that. <laughs> guys, oh, step. Okay. Take one step towards me, you guys. Plus, plus, everyone can see you better if, um, if you're closer to me over here. Oh, I just snapped okay, the wing in. Oh, it just snaps right in like that. Well, it didn't really snap. Oh, okay. Well, it it's looks not like, like fully looks connected. like you can pop off the canopy by pulling that back. This is the canopy right here. Nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine. What? There oh. we go. And we have the little tail section here. Oh, it has so a little, little triple nine, tail nine, here. Nine, Hey, uh, Margo, can you okay. hold up the inside so you can show them what's in the inside there? Battery strap. We got cables. some battery straps. Well, you got some cables. Oh, what's that stuff in there? Oh, I think those are the control rods. Okay, guys. So here's the little tail yeah, section, and I really, um, I really oh, like wait, the the paint job here. 
Uh, that's gluing. Oh, I love that. Okay, so the way the tail yeah. is going to go is it's going to look like Should this. I put this back on? Wow, this is going to slide underneath here, it looks like. Oh, it looks okay. So anyway, the motor is back here. Uh, I'm going to slide this. Uh, Wait, where's the... Everything is kind of It's like in the inside. Out. What, Margo? Everything's sticking out. Oh, it's all sticking out. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's, a, that's okay if it does it. I'm just going to slide this tail section in real quick. Looks like this might flip up. Alright. Oh, oh yeah. I think you're right, Aiden. Oh, let's look at this. Okay. All right, let me just slide this little tail section in here. I just wanted to kind of slide this over so that you guys could see what it kind of looks like. And let's grab the top of the tail here. I'm so sure you this can is all. Kind of see what it and can you uh, grab the other wing, Aiden? That's a small. So yeah, it's a small little jet here. So let's see what, see what we have and in the inside here. It. So we, so it only operates off of two servos, you guys. Um, it's basically, it's, it's set up as elevons and it, it operates the ailerons and the rudder, uh, not the rudder, but the uh, the uh, elevators here this back here at the awesome. same time. And it feels like it's a little bit stiff, so it looks like you need to exercise these to make sure that they are nice and free. But there's a, a two-part servo wire that actually, um, wait, Mia, come on over here. There's a two-part servo, servo uh, control arm that, that allows these to be operated at the same time with one servo. We have six so there's only, people! So there's only two um, two servos in the, in the whole airplane, so it's really, really simple. Uh, I really can't wait to fly this thing. And show them the canopy, Margo. I, I love the uh, the nice um, the detail in there. Okay, let's see here. Can I see that looks first? epic. USAF. What oh is, yeah, the, the... Hey, what does USAF stand for? US Air Force. Yeah. I like this thing. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so we have our lead for our ESC and our two uh, wires for our, our servo, and the battery uh, lead goes in here. It already has an XT60 on there, so that's perfect. Um, looks like I, I believe in the uh, yes, that okay. that is correct. So yeah. you can actually buy some some um, some landing gear for this, and it actually gets just put into these little squares right here. And the nose section right here. Yes, Aiden. Oh, we got a question. Yes, what is the question, Aiden? Let's put that back oh, on here. Oh, Dante. It's Dan Dante. Hey, Dante Yay. Rona Yang. How's it going? Wait, seven physics people. Physics HW or, or this? What's that? Physics HW or this? Tell other people this? to join. Physics, is that from him saying that? Yeah. Ruben, uh, Ruben. TG. What type of battery are they? What yeah. size battery? I think it's gonna be like an 1800 uh, 3S or 4S. So let me just take a quick peek at the um, at the instruction manual. I, I'll have Margo go ahead and hold this. So this is a nice pin system where you just retract this back and the yeah, canopy goes on. Margo, can you hold that in front of people and show everyone where the air goes into right here? Okay, and I'm gonna take a quick peek at the user's manual. And by the way, uh, they, so guys, just to let you know, uh, they put a nice thank you note in the receipt uh, for for um, they made sure that everything was in the box. It was really nice. And can you show them what came in the little spare parts accessories there? Oh, that looks so, so cool. And then you could just so first off, there's already there's already a rod right here. So it looks like that's that other rod is gonna go from the wing to here on each side. We got number one. We got an elevator, two elevator push rods. Is that, what is that word? Oh, uh, clevis? clevis. Yeah, the clevis is a Clevis, uh, two millimeter, one, 1.2 millimeter, <coughs> one piece. Clevis, 1.0 millimeters, one piece. EPO glue, one piece. Carbon tube, one millimeter, one piece. And a screw. Two screws. Okay, Aiden, um, so the, the, the gentleman that was Two asking screws. about the battery size, can you read this little blurb right there? Um, battery cabin size. No, no, not the cabin size. This portion we recommend. We um, recommend let's, let's, using the following LiPo battery. 3S, 11.1 volt, 1,000 amp, milliamps. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, so that would be this, this 1,000 milliamp, 3S would be the smaller of the end, and what's the higher of the end? Um, the higher end is 3s 11.1 volt um 22,000 2200 milliamps oh good job and let's just show you real quick guys uh this is the uh the center of gravity 
And just flipping through these instructions here, these are some of the most complete instructions I've ever seen. They really give some great detail in here. Um, it gives a complete exploded ver a view of the EDF. Um, when, if you were to actually take this apart, how to install the landing gear if you decide to buy that. That is actually a, uh, an option that you can buy. Uh, these are really, for what you get, um, a super highly scaled detailed uh, EDF, small, and they fly really well. If you guys check out the um, flight test episode on these, you'll see how well they actually fly. Uh, for under $100, these are $96, um, and plus shipping, I believe. Shipping is very inexpensive because it's within the United States. These are, for the scale detail that you get, for under $100, it's really, really nice. The other thing is they're really durable. The type of foam that they use is not the type of foam that's going to explode on impact, or like the, the UMX type of foam, which is made for super lightweight air, um, um, thing, uh, airplanes. So... Um, so what do you guys have to say about this airplane? What do you think? It looks, it looks really cool. Epic. It looks really cool. And we'll have to go up to Kite Hill and check this thing out. So, um, Marco, can I see this thing for just a second? I just want to show, point out some of the scale detail that, um, that is here. So, so one of the main things is it has a really interesting inlet design like right here. I the nose. And the nose is, it's, it's actually got a little plastic uh, protective nose cone. I love this green stripe here. I mean, just look at that scale detail. It's really, really nice. Uh, let's go through the to the side of the airplane here, and you'll see right down here is where your control servo is. I'm going to go this way a little bit. So the control servo connects from here back to this clevis for the uh, elevator, and also from here to the uh, to the elevator here. So it's, it's like it's going to have elevon control basically, uh, but it also has this really cool scale detail right here, which is the inlet for more air to come into the into the side into the EDF. And of course, it all gets uh, blown out the back here. So I would say probably the build time on this to get everything um, uh, up and ready to fly would be maybe 30 minutes to maybe an hour at the most. Like so, the All right, what's that? I like this. It's it's look, it almost color. looks like it's metal, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of wrinklage going on back here. I'm wondering what happened back here, but like it, this thing looks so great. And yeah. when it's up there flying in the air, it's not going to be something that's going to be concerning at all. Um, I suppose you could actually cut in a rudder here. There's actually hinges on this. If you wanted to add a rudder in yeah, uh, as a hobbyist, you could always do that so easily. So they do include the glue to, to be able to glue in the wings and everything. It might actually be nice to put these wings in with some magnets. I bet you that would, I mean, not that you would really need to do that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at it from the bottom real quick and show you guys the profile. Actually, I didn't even know about this airplane until after um, I watched the the flight test episode. I never knew this was an actual a real airplane. Uh, Margo, so what what is up with this right here? What is that? Um, the bottom. Yeah, what's up with the bottom there? It's silvery. It's silvery, but what's it made out of? Plastic. It's made out of plastic. So, uh, another cool thing about this airplane is that yeah, it's not just plastic. all foam on the bottom, but it's got this nice layered plastic that's on here that's not if you happen to belly land this which you are going to have to belly land it if you don't have the, the landing gear which I, I belly land most of my airplanes anyway but it's got this nice hard plastic coating here that's you're not going to be uh, chewed up by your runway and whatnot so overall i think this is a really really cool airplane um i can't wait to get this up to kite hill and fly it uh it's such a scale looking model isn't that cool so anyway um that's it for right now um, i'm going to have a full video um, detailing every part of this airplane. This is just a live stream, obviously, uh, with my beautiful children helping me out. Thanks, everyone, for all the, all the positive comments that we got, especially from the last live stream. Everyone said, hey, your kids did a great job, and we want to see more of your kids, yeah, so here we are. I did. I know. Look at that smile. <laughs> all right, guys. <clears throat> yeah, answer questions. Oh, I have to answer questions. Hang on. I will answer questions, and... Uh, I will put a link in the description down to the uh, Motion RC website where to buy this. And also, I'll put a link to the flight test episode where they feature these. Uh, and just a full disclosure, I do not, uh, I'm not going to be profiting off of uh, me promoting this airplane. It was just something that I thought looked really cool. So I thought I would get it. Um, so I will put those links in the description down below. Hey, Ty Stye, how's it going? It says, what's popping, kids? Yeah, the kids are helping me out once again. We're checking out this really cool airplane. What do you think of this? Is the uh, uh, this is the oh gosh I forgot what it's called the F one hundred five 
Thunder Chief EDF from Motion RC. So really cool looking airplane. It's got a 64 millimeter EDF back here. If you guys um, want to see the episode from Flight Test, just type in Flight Test uh, Motion RC EDF Jet, and it'll pop up. They've only done a few episodes uh, with Motion RC, but I'm really thrilled with the amount of scale detail that's on this airplane. It just looks great. Uh, the only thing that would make this even better is to put some little LEDs, some running lights on this thing. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the, the questions. Um, I'm just going to answer you guys' questions. I'm going to move this right over here so we can take a look. Okay. All right. Uh, we don't have a lot of questions. So we don't have a lot of viewers right now. It's a little bit late in the day, so I figure you guys are probably off doing your, your, your stuff. Um, Dante, who is my nephew, he says... Um, Physics HW or this? Well, I'm not sure what a physics HW is, uh, Dante, so um, let me know what that is. Uh, Uprise FPV says Dante Arona Yang. Uh, he says this, so, so uh, Uprise FPV must know what this is. <laughs> and just to let you guys know, there is two versions of this jet. I'll show you the other one in just a second. Uh, Ruben TG says, hi, how are you doing? And what type of battery do they use and what size? Of course. We did go over that. It's a 1,000 to 2,200 milliamp 3S. And Two Monster says, Thunder Chicken. Yes, you read my mind. Um, Thunder Chicken, Thunder Chicken. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, I don't know. Maybe they call this the Thunder Chicken. I, I, you have to explain that one to me, Two Monsters. It looks, it looks killer. Yes, it does. Dante says, HW. Oh, homework. HW is homework. How did I miss that one? Yeah, definitely watch me. <laughs> Although, get your homework done. It's important. All right, so let me get, let me show you guys really quickly what the other version of this. I had a really hard time deciding between this one here, uh, which if you guys can see the picture there, I'll, I'll tilt this this way a little bit, and yeah, I'll, I'll brighten beautiful. it up just a little bit. Uh, the other EDF, which is in the same price range, so these are ninety-eight dollars, just to let you know. The other one is the Freewing F8 Crusader. The Crusader looks like more of my type of an airplane. I mean, uh, <clears throat> click on this guy here. Uh, can you guys see that? I'm gonna darken the screen now. Okay, so now you guys can see what the Crusader looks like. Now, the only reason I went with this airplane is because inside of the, uh, during the video, they liked the way this one flew a little bit better than the Crusader. Um, this reminds me, uh, Dante, of, uh, of a scale model, the F-14 Phantom that your, your dad put together uh, when we were kids. It has a lot of the same type of markings where it has a black on the tail and stuff like that. And a, it has a tri-tail in the, in the rear. I, I would have probably liked this one better, the shape of this one better. And it has a really cool, um, underneath the front of it, it has a big scoop, uh, which is pretty cool. Let me see here. If they show that, yeah, it looks like that. So that's what the front of um, of this one looks like. I know you guys can't see it uh, really well, but sorry about that. But like I said, this one they they just like the way this one flew just a little bit better. I don't know if it was just the tail configuration or the way the wings are swept back. Um, but so that's why I went with this one, even though I prefer the shape of this one. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to. Uh, do this quick unboxing for you guys. I Like I said, I will have a full video on this coming up real soon. Let me just um, <clears throat> let me just uh, read you guys' comments here and we will we'll end the, uh, the live stream here. That is glue in there. So they guys, they include the glue for the wings, which is great because that way you know that the, the glue is not going to eat away the, the foam of the wings. Um, and it looks like um, there's some sort of a spar in there. Okay, maybe, probably the spar goes in between the wings there. I'll have to read the instructions. But Dante said, my dad told me you guys did planes. I've only heard about the cars. Um, so I did planes when I was a kid. I built a lot of like six foot wingspan balsa planes. But what he's talking about when we did planes, we actually did model planes, like the plastic models that you put together, the non-flying ones. So he had, gosh, I had the Tomcat, the one that, with the re retracting wings. And he did the Phantom. Uh, I remember the Phantom Jet, which was really cool. Has the tail which there's one going up and there's two going down. So uh, that's a really cool airplane. And we also made a lot of scale uh, battleships and stuff like that. Uh, so we did all that stuff when we were kids and here I am, you know, oh, 35 years later or so. And now we're, um, you know, I'm doing RC uh, stuff. I only learned to have to fly RC airplanes about four years ago, which is pretty crazy that I've, I've gone this far. 
Um, I'm wondering if I'm going to hit a thousand videos uh, <laughs> this year because um, uh, I'm up at like almost 800 videos right now. So if I do 200 more videos this year, I'm going to hit a thousand videos, which would be pretty insane. On that note, you guys, Margo, would you want to say bye? Bye. Uh, you want to? You want to fly this airplane with me? Yeah. Yes. yes. And if you guys uh, haven't checked it out, I did a live stream this morning of the what you did? evolution, of the Phoenix evolution. Yeah, you guys were at school. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you bet school. I already did school. I'm mm. done with school. Mm. <laughs> this one, she loves homework. No. It's her favorite thing. It's yeah. just we get really little of this. <laughs> and um, uh, Ruben TG says, uh, you guys did a great job. So give Ruben Thank TG a, a thumbs up. I'm going to watch, look at the screen. Is that what my hair looks like back there? Oh man, I've got this big old chicken cockle-doodle-doo thing going on. Uh, anyway, uh, I should be getting a haircut tonight when my wife gets home from uh, her thing that she's doing tonight. I, I have been, look at the, uh, this crazy craziness going on. It's just not good. All right, guys, uh, I've taken up enough of you guys' time. Thank you for joining us, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, there we go. Hello? Oh.